Pioneer. The Pioneer post game, the Pioneers fall in thrilling fashion, uh, disappointing fashion, I think, for a lot of the Pioneers here tonight. So much grit, so much determination, but a 43 to 35 final is what the scoreboard will say. Uh, I don't know that I've been a part of many games like that. With Pioneer coach Jerry Odom, uh, I know you don't like to be on this end of it, but I, you know it's true grit. I know you're disappointed. A first half where that Wingate offense was uh, very strong, very very gifted, and I love the way we, we battled back on offense and played very fast, and Ivan Corbin was very decisive tonight. Our, our offense was great tonight. I mean, they, they, they did plenty to win. I, I call it a bad game. I mean, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, and uh, we didn't we didn't play well enough on defense on third down to win the football game. And uh, you know, it, it's frustrating to get a field goal blocked. Um, you know, that could have been the difference. And you know, but our kicker's hurt, and I got a freshman doing it. And God bless him, he did a good job. And and uh, you know, it's just a, this level. This is a game in which this uh, Pioneer team comes in here to win. You know, a lot on the line. You know, for them here tonight, a lot of pressure on them. You guys seem to be very much at ease, especially tonight. You want to change it up a little bit offensively, and you guys did that tonight. And Ivan looked composed, yeah. very good at that quarterback position yeah. tonight. I thought he played his best game, there's no doubt about it. And that was just why it was a shame it kind of had to end in, in that way, uh, trying to make it just probably one, one, one too many yeah. plays. But he made so many tonight. I mean, that's why I tried to tell him he's super upset. And, and I said, man, we're going to need you because, you know, we got to be able to run the table, you know, if yeah. we got a chance to yeah. do this thing now. And, uh, you know, we got a shot. I mean, uh, I think we're still a good football team. It's just we've played some good football teams, and, and we've just not found a way uh, to, to get over the hump. Part of it's, you know, discipline, I guess. You know, on my part, I've got to do a better job coaching that. Um, you know, we constantly talk about these things and work on these things. And, you know, some, you know, I, it's hard for me to say. It was it was wild down here tonight. Let's yes. just say that. Yes. Um, and. And I don't think it was just us right. uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, at the end of the day, um, like you said, they have grit. I'm proud of the, how hard they play, but we just got to play. And I say it every week. We got to play smarter. We got we to get a handle on our emotions. And, and we got to play you know, tougher uh, in, in certain situations. And uh, you know, we'll, keep, we'll keep working. I don't, I don't see this, kid, this group calling it a day anytime soon, but hey, that, was, uh, that one hurt. Let's, let's highlight the, the, the positive here tonight for sure. Back against the wall, Wingate driving. You forced two turnovers. You guys came up with yeah. some turnovers, and that, that's critical. I love the way that uh, you guys continued to fight after that and set your offense and put them up in a good shape. No, I mean, the first half we forgot to show up and we didn't make a punt. I mean, it was, uh, and they didn't do a whole lot of different things than we thought they were going to do. We we busted two coverages that we worked on all week, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, God bless them, we made some plays. And they made some plays. I mean, you know, the, the double pass to the tight end, it wasn't like we weren't covering the guy. I mean, uh, you know, he's just six seven, and, yeah. and, and our guy's not. <laughs> and, um, you know, but it was frustrating because I felt like we had a chance to, to do some things. And, you know, we got Craig Watts hurt early. Uh, then our other backer gets cramped, so we're down to our third linebacker. I mean, it was just one of those games. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed. Uh, I've got to do a better job. I mean, that's, you know, like I said, you know how I am. Yes. Right? I mean, at the end of the day, if we lose, it's on me. I ain't putting on these kids. We, I got to do a better job of coaching. I got to do a better, you know, job of teaching, uh, the whole thing. He didn't let me down here talking about all this positive stuff either. All right now, no, very no, that's Very not, disappointed. No, no, that's not true. Very disappointed. I am definitely disappointed, but I am, I am proud of how hard my yes. players played. I don't want that to come off yes. that way at all. He's... A special teams you worked so hard on, yeah. and Jarvis Jones rewarded yeah. you here tonight. Yeah, yeah, Jarvis hit it, man. He told me he was going to if we put him back on there, and he did, and he hit that sucker. Uh, almost had another one, really set us up for that last drive, and, uh, you know, to give ourselves a chance to win the game. And, uh, you know, I was, like I said, very, very proud of uh, Jarvis and him coming back like that and keep grinding. He's got to keep doing those things. I mean, uh, you know, uh, but we got to keep working uh, on the special teams. We still kickoff is still an adventure right now. Uh, we got some things got to work on the punt, but I'm very proud of the way those guys have been how hard they play. All right, finally, a day in which the South Atlantic Conference is torn upside down. Wise defeats LR. Barton defeats Carson Newman. And Mars Hill knocks off Newberry in double overtime. A lot left to play for, yeah. and it starts next week against the Bears. Yeah, we got to find a way to win that, win that game next week. Uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll heal up, uh, go to work tomorrow, and take Monday off, and you know, get a game plan and go to work against LR. Hey, appreciate you as always. Thank you, man.